Hey everyone, so for today's card I'm using the Art Impressions Celeste stamp set which I've had for a little while now and I've been dying to use it. I'd got it from the paper trail and then it sold out but they got it back in stock and I've had this idea again, this is another card where the idea was kind of like mulling in the back of my head um, for what to do. So I stamped uh, Celeste here with some My Favorite Things, the Black Licorice Hybrid Ink, which is my absolute favorite now for coloring with Copics because it's super, super black and it doesn't smear with um, alcohol-based markers. And I'm using the stamp packaging as a guide, which I tend to do with all of these little art impress impressions images because it just makes coloring simpler and it just really helps with the guide as to where to add like darker areas and the shadows and that and you can just see here like really simple coloring for most of I'm using like two colors of Copic markers but yeah you add the shadows in the right place and it totally livens it up and for this little love seat here I'm purposely coloring outside the lines because I'm going to trim this out even though it kind of bothers me I don't know maybe that makes me as not as creative because you know they say like color outside the lines but it just even doing this it just bugs me even watching this it bugs me <laughs> but yes I'm going to trim it out so yeah it's not gonna matter but um, I just tried to get like as even a coat as I could with the lighter red Copic marker and then adding the darker area for all the shadow and you just it really livens up the image so once I was done with all that I did the W3 last so I could push out any parts of red or anything off of the white and then just colored in um, the wine and then I took my little Copic opaque white which I got not too long ago to add a couple little lines to give it some shine but then I'm gonna go and do something different later on anyway and then I'm gonna fussy cut this with my little cutter B scissors which doesn't take too too long um, yeah it's just kind of a little bit finicky but an image like this isn't too difficult to trim out and then once it's all trimmed out, I just take the side of my distress marker. I chose a distress marker over just using like say a black Copic marker because I didn't want, if I used a Copic, I didn't want it to possibly seep into the edges here and like push away any of the other Copic coloring. So that's why I chose the distress marker because it wouldn't affect it at all. Plus it's got this super fine um, tip so it's easier to cover all the edges. And you see it just finishes off anything you fussy cut. It just covers up all that white edge and really makes it look crisper. So set that aside and then I'm just grabbing some white cardstock and my um, my favorite things this is the um, and Wildcat stencil and I'm pretty sure I airbrushed the last time I used the stencil I did actually the exact same thing I think I did Copic airbrushing over it but I really like the look of it so and it's perfect for this card so I just taped it down I just have this scrap of cardboard that I use when I spray and use airbrush that sort of thing um, I've had people ask why I don't have um, the actual airbrush machine from like the compressor from Copic mostly because I don't airbrush that often um, up here in Canada they're so expensive and then the shipping on top of it I just haven't been able to justify it when I literally airbrush every once in a while even though when it's fun to do someday I probably will own the compressor but I just right now I don't go through a ton of the cans so for the first piece of cardstock, I airbrushed three different shades of brown, just a lighter, a medium, and a darker. And then I had airbrushed a second piece here, which is the lightest. Um, I'm going to use that on the inside of the card. But the darker piece I want to use as my card base here. So get everything kind of lined up how I want it. Um, this little sentiment comes with the set, which totally makes this image. It just gives me a good giggle. <laughs> so I use my stamp positioner because I want to get it at get it lined up properly here on this panel of cardstock so get it all lined up and then I'm going to ink it up again with the black licorice hybrid ink and then stamp it onto the corner and then for the image that I had fussy cut I'm going to flip that over and I'm just going to add some foam tape to it so using my scissors I'm going to trim down um, some little tiny pieces just to go behind her hand here her feet and then the head so that it doesn't get uh, bent up against the rest of the card so once I've got that into place, I'm going to um, pop some more foam tape on the back of the main piece and then I'm just going to adhere it to a white cardstock base. Um, and all the white cardstock, by the way, is uh, the CC Designs, the Copa Quality 110 pound. Um, I love that for my card bases and then I use it for pieces like the Celeste image there for coloring that I'm planning on cutting out and popping up. I just like how sturdy it is. 
So I popped that up with some foam tape onto the card base. I kept everything simpler since I went so wild with the Wildcat stencil and, you know, the crazy hot red love seat. I just thought it all worked. <laughs> and the inside, I just adhered this piece that I had airbrushed and then you can just write over that. Um, I didn't add any sentiments or anything else. Just, again, kept it fairly simple. But then I couldn't resist adding a few of these basic gray candy buttons, these like gold glittery ones. I thought those kind of tied in well with the animal print theme. And then finally I had to add just a little bit more embellishment. So I took my clear wink Estella and I went over um, the wine glass and her earrings and her little bracelet. So just a hint of shimmer, nothing too crazy. And then finally I took um, my glossy accents and completely coated um, the wine glass with a fairly thick coat so it's really popped up and shiny and coated the whole glass and then the stem of the glass as well and that's all there was to it so as always there will be a link below um, the video to my blog post with links to all the supplies used just check out the description box below for that and there will also be all the supplies listed below as well and then yeah you can check out my blog I'll have the pictures and links and all that fun stuff so that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping my videos. I always appreciate it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!